Okay, here we have solving a rational inequality, problem type two. So just like problem type one, you have to have it equal to zero. So I'm gonna have negative three x minus five minus two over two minus x. Um, and I do have to get a common denominator, so I'm gonna end up with three, negative three times that denominator minus two times the other denominator and then I should have both denominators at the bottom. So then I get negative six plus three x minus two x plus 10 over, I'm, not, I'm gonna leave it factored because you're gonna have to factor it anyway later, right? So we get x plus four and these two factors. So when I set this equal to zero, I get negative four, when I set this one, I Five, and here I get two. Remember, put them in order first. So negative four comes first, then two, then five. But these two came from the denominator. So they're automatically going to have open parentheses. The one from the top has whatever according to the sign. So since the sign has this bar, this one's gonna have a solid dot. And then you do your test points. So negative five, zero, three, and six. So let's see, I'm gonna get negative over a negative times a positive, because that'll be two minus a negative, two plus five. That's gonna give me positive in the end. Zero, we get a positive over a negative times a positive. So that's negative. Three, we get a positive over a negative, over a negative, which is positive. Six, we get positive over positive over negative. So that's negative in the end. And we're looking for when it is less than or equal to zero. So that means we want these two sections as our answers. So my interval is gonna be from negative four to two, and then from five to infinity. Now I've got two more to do. So here we're gonna minus the two over, and this one's a lot like the previous problem. in the problem type one. But I gotta get a common denominator. So I have x plus six minus two x minus two, which means negative x plus four. So then when I draw my number line, um, I'm going to have the value negative 1 and 4. And the negative 1 came from the bottom, so it automatically has an open dot. And the 4 follows this symbol, but that also means it has an open dot because there's no bar. So then let's test negative 2, 0, and 5. We get a positive, plus 4 is positive, and then negative. Then we get a positive and a positive, which is positive. Here we get a negative and a positive, which is negative. And we are looking for the places where it is less than zero, so that's the negatives. So our answer is gonna be negative infinity to negative one, and then from four to infinity. And then the last one, we move over the x, So then we get a common denominator. I'm running out of ink over here. Distribute that minus x. And then I will, um, I'm gonna rearrange that first before I try to factor it. So I get x minus 4x minus 2. So then when I set each one equal to 0, I'm going to get, let's see, I'm going to get 4, 2, and 6. I have a 
open dot and the bar applies to the four and the two so solid and solid now let's take our tests so zero three five and seven so that's going to be negative times a negative over a positive so this is going to be positive in the end a negative times a positive is negative over a positive is negative it's going to be positive 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 that's going to be positive positive negative so then i want the ones that are greater than or equal to zero so i want the positive sections so then the answer is going to be negative infinity to two with the bracket and then four with the bracket to six with the parentheses and that is the final answer now you may take a little bit longer to do this work that i'm doing in my head but all you're literally doing is i did it the long way on the first um, problem type one you're just plugging in zero here here and here and then computing the number and seeing if the number is a positive number or a negative number that's it i just happen to do it fast okay that doesn't mean that um you need to do it as fast okay so same thing with the three three minus four is negative one three minus two is positive one negative one times positive one is negative one six minus three is three so you get a positive one over positive three, which is a positive number why do i have negative oh a negative one times one is a negative one over three is negative one third so it should be a negative number and then five five minus four is positive one five minus two is positive three which makes the numerator positive three and six minus five is positive one so three over one is a positive three which is why I have a positive symbol here, okay? You can use your calculator to do this if you wanted to. You just need to figure out the signs of what you get when you plug in each of these numbers into this fraction.